Hello, I'm Entrylissim, and welcome back to Grimworld Needs You. Well, okay, we have... I was going to say a problem, it's not really a problem so much as we're at the end of the, end of the game now. And we're just at the point where it's becoming just a little bit more grindy. We're just waiting, we're not actually really doing much. We're not even actually grinding, we're just sitting here kind of waiting. We, uh, we have nothing we particularly want or need other than the fact time will bring. So we've got pretty much all the metal on the map. The most we could do is some exploratory mining, which will not be interesting. It'll just be mining some random bits until we find metal. Um, we have a lot of money. So much money, it's ridiculous. Um, honestly, we're waiting for what? An AI core, which is a random event, which could happen at any time, or never, as it has happened over quite quite the course of a game. We have played, what, 36 episodes now? That's a long time. That's over 10 hours of gameplay, and we still haven't had that event fire. And, well, we need that to get the AI core. Or you can get it from a trader. However, we haven't had traders for years. Um, well, not, not years. At least two months of game time. Okay, we haven't had a trader with a that could carry a core. You know what I mean, though, guys. Stop being pedantic. Anyway. Um, and we have loads of guys. And to get everyone off, it's going to be 750 metal per head. Which it doesn't exist on this map. That's going to be, you know, at least a trader per head or something. Which is ridiculous. It'll take us another two years just buying the stuff. And honestly, I, I don't find that interesting. I don't think it would make a good series. And to be honest, I think we've achieved what we want to achieve in Grimworld. Um, it's, it's arguable that the Bionics give us quite an advantage, and yeah, they did. But I wanted to show them off, and they're new, and they'd take a while otherwise. And honestly, um, the limb destruction system in this game is really crippling. I mean, yes, it can happen to enemies as well, but enemies, when they disappear, they disappear. You admittedly are ruining their life forever or whatever, but in terms of the gameplay from a personal point of view, they cease to exist. And from an actual gameplay point of view, they cease to exist. Um, whereas, you know, we become not useful at all if we're missing an arm, and... It's incredibly hard to make a bionic arm. Well, it's incredibly hard to get one. You have to buy one. You can't actually make them in the core game. So yes, the bionic thing is a little bit overpowered, but it brings the game back into balance in terms of a, you know, people can carry on. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to be controversial. People might be like, you know, I don't like it. And people might be like, oh, you're cheating. And other people will be like, yeah, that makes sense. And to be honest, just from a pure aesthetical point of view, what we need is to get an AI core and, you know, maybe some metal. Now, how far are we away? If we have a look at our research, we have, I think, everything for the the ship. If we have a look at the ship, where is it? Hello? Oh, I can't do that with that one. Ship. We need an AI Persona Core, and we need a Crypto Sleep Pod. At least one, preferably more. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to deliberately get us attacked right now. If we can weather the attack, we earn ourselves an AI Persona Core. Now, some people will be like, oh, well, that's kind of cheating. And I'll be like, yeah, it is cheating. Um, but I think it's there. If we can weather the storm, we'll pick one lucky person to leave this colony. Or more, if we can actually build you know, enough pods. I doubt it. So, we've not had a mechtoid or... A mechanoid um, attack for, what, like, five episodes? And they are the biggest threat. And they are also the ones that drop down when you get an air percent core. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves attacked by mechtoids. Mechanoids. I'm going to get that wrong. Oh, well. So, those of you probably wondering how I'm going to do this, uh, there is a dev console built into the game which you can activate. And, uh, well, we'll activate it now. If you go to game options, you can see somewhere... Develop mode. And then all these little things appear up here. Now one of these is debug actions, and you can then do execute incident, execute raid, etc. Do we have this raid enemy, you see, there's all the stuff down here. Ship part crash. Now that could be the one that drops the uh, the AI core. I don't know if it is. We'll initiate it anyway, just in case it is. I don't think it's resource pod crash, refugee pod crash. Go ship pod crash. And hopefully that's the event we're waiting for. Yeah, there we go. Ah, that's fairly close. So. I 
I think that means everyone. Militarize. And get here. We're going to take it on. Now, I think what happens is that mechanoids jump out of it. If they don't, I'll initiate that as well. Because that should have happened in the event if it hasn't happened. I think it just triggers the event normally. Okay. They've got quite the firing line here. So I'm just going to deconstruct little bits in the wall. Just in case the mechatoids are there and just haven't come out yet. And then what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to fill in that wall eventually there. So, uh, where is it? Mm, structural? Structural. Metal wall. Stone blocks. Right. Is that everyone? Twan, why are you waiting up here, Twan? Oh, you didn't join in because uh, I didn't get you. Whoopsie. Well, you might survive. Well, I don't think a short cell is going to be particularly useful, so we'll start deconstructing walls. Maybe it's only after you destroy it that the, uh, the, the mechanoids come out. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done this event. So we'll get everyone behind cover, just in case. And I know we can't get everyone behind cover, but we'll try our best. Okay, I can't quite get behind there because of the tree. Bloody trees. Coming over here, stealing our... land. Okay, um... Well, I've got too many people to pick from. Move to there. There we go. Right, we've got big... space here. A large amount of guys. FX Energy, why do you not have a gun? You're a marine. Did I just not give you a gun recently? God damn it. Do we have an LMG? don't think we do. Does that put you in sniper territory? Might well do. There's no LMGs around. Okay. Well, I guess you're on sniper duty then. I don't mind having you on sniper. It's just a bit of a waste, really. Um, I guess everyone can start piling up. Ah, uh, an LMG there that I've missed. Okay, uh, Nunmaker, yeah, move you back because you're going to be useful. Tholius, switch in. And this is where we grab all these guys. And then we tell them... Not to do that. No. Okay! Yep, there we go. It started happening as soon as we started firing. Um... Right, well, I think we're going to need to think about um, falling back. So let's start putting people into falling back position. Like, I could defend here, but it would be nowhere to fall back. It would be pretty much suicide for whoever stays there. So I'm going to start falling people back into reasonable positions with the idea that we'll have a collapsible defense. Now, that means that as soon as someone starts pushing our defense in one particular way, we'll yield a little bit after, you know, taking our toll on them. Cannot hit target. There we go. Fire at that target. You fire at the Scyther. You fire at them. Because they can do a lot of damage, right? So if we can take them out early, the better. Can't hit that one. Can you hit this one? Can you hit anyone? No, apparently not. Fine. Okay, good. we get that guy? Sweet. Well, Tim, if you will mind, uh, keep firing at the ship. Azona can join in. Can Rock Mage get it? No, okay. Well, I guess we'll keep firing. Nunmaker. Oh, did you not fall back? Yeah, you might have to do that. Fix energy. Actually, you're a sniper, so you should probably go to somewhere where you could snipe. That, you know, that tends to help. When you've got someone who does something, it tends to help you put them in the position to do it. So the crash ship is taking damage. You know, oh, oh, here they come, here they come. Okay, so we've got to clear the, uh, the assignments for these guys. 
Oh god, they're rushing our defences. Okay, so I'm going to start falling back. And you know I said I wouldn't go around here. I will because it looks like they're pushing this way. Now the question is, how far can we push around without getting absolutely stomped on? Looks like they're coming directly for us. Porsche Kitty, you've got a sword. That's really not the kind of thing to be fighting with. Uh, I'm going to honestly tell you to go and run away. Up here. Just anywhere out of the fighting. Rock Mage, you're going to definitely have to collapse down to here. Tom, again, another collapsible. Master Z. Master Z, where are you going to go? Um, I guess behind there. I don't really want to get the shot at, because that's you know an expensive item that I kind of want to keep. Rock Mage has got owned. Rock Mage is hit. The zone is hit. Let's see, what's the damage? What's the damage? Pretty bad. Arm, leg. Not too bad. Oh, crap. Yeah, now maybe it's the time to start falling back. Um, ooh, maybe even behind their own ship? Yeah, that seems like a great idea. The Swan! Move back! Oh, one of them's down already. Wow. We are destroying them. The Swan! Move back! Oh, oh you can stand your ground. That works too. Callum! Move back! Come on. One more. And that was it. I've got to say, I was expecting it to be a bit harder. But still, I think calling it was the right idea. So it's a lot of uh, just waiting. As for you guys, come here and we'll do a, a firing squad. Tholius, actually, yeah, we'll involve you as well. Here we go. Almost there. 100 health points to go. 80. Bam. Now, let's look at getting all those sliders and using them. Centipede. We have a hunt icon on the centipede. Because he's still alive, technically. God damn it. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Don't hit Mayony. There we go. Now we can kill it. And now, with all the extra metal we have, and the fact we now have an AI core, then we can build the ship computer. Metal break soon. The Sworn. Okay. New colonist beds. Ah, uh, do we? I guess so. Fair enough. I will turn these into colonist bedrooms. Need research project. I don't think we do, mate. You think you're lying to me. I'll take refrigeration because we might as well. Just for the end. I mean, you know, we could leave it and just, you know, speed up the rest of the stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm not too fast. We might be interesting to get that. Uh, there is a debug insta-finish button. Now I've got this uh, um, debug interface up. I'm not going to do that. Not necessary. Uh, it's completely, like, I'm just doing this for uh, speeding things up. I'm not really needing to speed the research up. The research is not You're one of these random events you desperately need. Have you started on the AI core? No. Okay. It's a lot of pirates. But you know what? I'm fine. Are they coming towards us already? They should be wandering. Huh. Okay. Well, 
Well, we'll let them uh, attack us. I don't mind. You know, maybe there should be a penalty for what we did. I think that penalty should be... We take a raid twice as big. Yeah. So, raid from... Um, I... Them. There we go. Raid that's twice as big. It's slowing down the game a fair bit. Oh, they're fighting each other. Are they? Yeah, they are. Okay, didn't expect that. To be completely honest. That's pretty cool. I could just attack them in the rear, or I could just wait. I'm going to wait. Whoever wins, I should probably find out and then allow them to have twice as big a raid. Are they coming for us? Equipping... Oh, well, they are coming for us. Fair enough. Everyone... Twan, if you wouldn't mind. Sworn. Oh, actually, you've got a sniper rifle. You should probably be down here sniping or something. Pirates and Hyenas Rock have decided to kidnap who they can and leave. So they lost that fight. What? Okay, maybe we should give them reinforcements. Twice as many. Raid from Hyenas Rock. I missed the location of that. We're going to get some frame rate issues. That's not big enough. I think we can handle bigger. Raid from... Hyena's Rock. There we go. That's more like it. Now we'll have to probably man this through shifts. And you know what? I'm cool with that. That seems like a fun idea. Put a sniper up here. Why did we have someone on every one of these uh, bollards? I'm, I'm cool with you know, the rest of them slacking off a little bit. We should probably also rebuild that door just so that I can lock it. That's pretty much the only reason I'm going to do that. It's just so I can lock that door after we're done. Um, we should also put a couple of cryopods on. I want it to be somewhat symmetrical. So there we go. And, ooh, now the question is, what are we going to do for the door? Order, structure, structure, metal door, no, wood door, wood door, go here. Bam. You, demobilize. Do whatever you want. Except I want you to make the door. So that's not really whatever you want, I'll be completely honest. You two, no, not whatever you want. You're not allowed to go through there. Oh, for God's sake. And toggle locked. There we go. Now, do whatever you want. We're seriously not going to build this one either. Bloody hell, these guys are terrible. Right, finally, we're enclosed. There are a number of guys left. And they will be coming for us at some point. Wait, did I hit siege for those guys? No, that's just their nearest siege location. Okay. I thought by accident I maybe hit siege. Um, stuff dropped. I can't be able to go collect it. So far away. Wow, there's a fire raging down there. Okay, pirates are beginning their assault. Frame rate is definitely beginning its assault. Here we go. Oh god, that's the first time someone's made it to our lines. Didn't last very long. Okay, Colonist's treatment. We took a hit. Oh god, Sir Fraser. No, that's why you took a hit. You're being bloody idiotic. I should have probably done that, but... Can Sir Fraser make it out? I don't think so. I think Sir Fraser is done for. Sir Fraser is down.
They're trying to kidnap who they can and leave. And they're not allowed to kidnap who they can. Like, he's trying to kidnap Sir Fraser. He won't. He won't manage it. He'll be dead. That sounded like an explosion. Are you actually using a mortar? I didn't think I put you on siege. I thought you were... Is someone actually using that mortar? Oh my god, they're actually using a mortar. I must have hit siege by mistake. Well, this is going to be interesting to sort out. We've just got to build the ship and escape, but they have a mortar. And you know what? I'm thinking that Sally Thorpe is not the worst of ideas. We can take the miss with Sally Thorpe. Of course, someone will need to rescue uh, our downed ally. Where did I put my last sniper? Huh. I thought I had a sniper down here. I must have grabbed him earlier. Oh, well. That's fine. Now, these guys... Wait, did someone die? Surely someone was filling this spot. Cougar the Brawler. It wasn't Cougar the Brawler. We don't have someone called Cougar the Brawler. Maybe I never filled the spot. I swear I did. I swear I filled every spot. Huh. Oh, well. Let's start considering our assault. I want these guys dead. We're better equipped and more veterans, so we should be okay. Maybe. But that'll be the next episode of Grimworld. So we're actually getting to the stage where we might just be fine. I'm going to just order these guys to just... God damn it. Just, just take them. Burn them. I, I really couldn't care less. I can't be able to go through the pockets of every dead person. And also grab the food, because why not? So... That'll be the next episode of Grimworld, but for this episode of Grimworld, we are done. We have everything we want in terms of the ship, except for the fact that it's not built. That'll happen eventually. Someone will have to build it, but for the moment, no one seems to be obliging. Until then, I've been Andrew Listen. If you enjoyed the episode, please like, and if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. But, until then, stay shiny. <laughs>